Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I share the latest news and updates on stimulus checks and other financial topics. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can get a huge $1,600 tax boost per child this year if you meet seven criteria. This is a great opportunity for millions of Americans who need some extra cash in these tough times. But before I get into the details, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Federal government and many states are looking to help Americans play rising inflation with stimulus payments and tax rebates. Colorado. If you're a resident of Colorado, you're in luck. The state is offering tax rebates to 3 million eligible residents. Individuals can receive up to $400, and joint filers can get up to $800. That's some extra cash to help with rising costs. Delaware. Over 600,000 Delaware residents will receive rebate payments. Individuals will get $300, and married couples can expect $600. It's a nice boost for those who qualify. Georgia. Georgia is taking a unique approach. They're providing a one-time rebate payment based on your filing status. Single filers. You'll receive $250. Heads of households. Expect $375. Married couples get ready for $500. Eligibility matters, so check if you qualify. New Jersey. Middle-class residents in New Jersey can receive up to $500 through a tax rebate. It's aimed at helping families manage their expenses. Chicago. If you're a Chicago resident, here's a cool perk. You can snag a $150 gas card. The city council recently passed this law, so keep an eye out for it. Federal government. The big players are also in the game. The federal government is considering a bill that would give Americans $100 whenever the national average price of gasoline crosses the $4 per gallon mark. It's like a little bonus when fuel prices spike. California, Hawaii, Kentucky, Minnesota, and New York. These states are exploring additional legislation. They want to offer tax rebates or credits to help their residents cope with the financial challenges. So, as you may know, the federal government has been sending out stimulus checks to help Americans cope with the economic impact of the pandemic. The first round of payments was $1,200 per person, the second round was $600, and the third round was $1,400. But did you know that there is another way to get more money from the IRS this year? That's right, if you have children under the age of 17, you may be eligible for a $1,600 tax credit per child, regardless of your income level. This is part of the American Rescue Plan that was passed by Congress last year, and it's meant to help families with the cost of raising kids. But how do you know if you qualify for this tax credit? Well, there are seven criteria that you must meet, and I'm going to explain them to you right now. The first one is that your child must be under the age of 17 at the end of the year. That means if your child turns 18 in 2024, you can still claim the credit for them. The second one is that your child must be your son, daughter, stepchild, eligible foster child, brother, sister, stepbrother, stepsister, half-brother, half-sister, or a descendant of one of these, such as a grandchild, niece, or nephew. The third one is that your child must not provide more than half of their own financial support during the year. That means if your child has a job or a business, they can't earn more than you do. The fourth one is that your child must have lived with you for more than half the year. That means at least 183 days out of the 365 days in the year. The fifth one is that your child must be properly claimed as your dependent on your tax return. That means you can't let someone else claim them, such as your ex-spouse or another relative. The sixth one is that your child must not file a joint return with their spouse for the tax year, or file it only to claim a refund of withheld income tax or estimated tax paid. That means if your child is married, they can't file a separate tax return with their spouse and claim the credit. And the seventh and final one is that your child must have been a U.S. citizen, U.S. national, or U.S. resident alien. That means if your child was born outside the U.S., they must have a valid social security number or an adoption taxpayer identification number. Now, if you meet all these criteria, you may be wondering how much money you can get from this tax credit. Well, the good news is that there is no income limit for this credit, unlike the previous child tax credit that was phased out for higher earners. That means you can get the full $1,600 per child, regardless of how much you make. However, there is a catch. 
The catch is that this credit is only available for New Yorkers as part of a state-level program that was approved by Governor Cuomo last year. So, if you live in any other state, you won't be able to get this credit unless your state decides to implement a similar program. But if you do live in New York, you can claim this credit by entering your children and other dependents on Form 1040, U.S. Individual Income Tax Return, and attaching a completed Schedule 8812, credits for qualifying children and other dependents, according to the IRS. You can find these forms on the IRS website or use a tax software to fill them out for you. So, that's how you can get a huge $1,600 tax boost per child this year if you meet seven criteria. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who may benefit from this information. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.